Hello and welcome to another iMovie 11 tutorial. This tutorial will also work in iMovie 09, so feel free to follow along. I'm glad to help you out. Today, we're starting our summer-long event of working with green screen features in iMovie. Today, we will be going over the basics, so pretty handy stuff there. I want to make sure everybody's on the same page, and there could be some things you advanced guys might not know so well. So first off, what is green screen footage? Well, there are two types. There's the CG green screen footage. CG stands for computer generated. Basically, as you can see, the green has is just one solid color. There's no nature to it, no naturalness to it. It's just computer generated, one solid green color, one big paint bucket splash. Then there's the other kind, which is a uh, natural green screen, which is uh, you know, has shadows and it's multicolor and things like that. Uh, iMovie works way better with natural green screens instead of the CG green screens. Working with uh, computer generated green screens is going to require a tutorial all on its own so we will get to that later on but let's work with uh, natural green screens which is the one most people have access to and many people use including weather reporters and things like that. So I am going to summarize in like three sentences how to do a green screen. You don't need to watch a tutorial. It's just one paragraph, basically. So you need a green cloth. Look, there's a green cloth. Green cloth. You need a way to set up the green cloth. Figure out whatever. I've used mattresses before. I've used walls. I've used fences. Just green cloth. Next, you don't want to wear something that matches the green. Look, I'm in a suit. I'm not matching the green. Here, not matching the green. However, this yellow, watch out for yellow. Yellow comes close. If you're using iMovie 11, you have access to blue screen. So I'm sorry, iMovie 09ers. Uh, we just keep an eye on yellow. It, it can be very tricky. Next step, you want to make sure you have even lighting. Here I have okay lighting. Uh, there, this dark, this part is a little dark. We want to make sure we have evenly distributed light. So it's very easy for the computer to work with. Here I do not have as decent lighting, uh, but it's really bright. So iMovie managed to save it. But as you can see down here in the corners, it's a little dark, and you know all this isn't green. But don't worry, we'll get to that. Another tip. Don't put things close to the green screen. When I was doing first person green screen practice stuff until I got my GoPro camera. For free. Uh, anyways, don't put things close to the green screen. Look, the green reflects off the metal. Green will reflect off gloves and clothing. So that's called like green spill or green shadowing. It has many different terms. Another thing to worry about, do you want your green screen indoors or outdoors? There are pros and cons to both. If you're indoors, you have, of course, more control over sound and you can be more secure, but lighting is a lot more tricky. If you're outdoors, lighting's a lot easier. As you can see, this is pretty bright. The only dark spot is this, and that's just because it's wrinkly. Also, if you're outside, you have to deal with people and nature and what. There's no carpet, so sorry. Um, last tip about green screen. Try not to have wrinkles. Here, we kind of ironed it and flattened it out. No wrinkles. Here, uh, we only have a couple wrinkles on the side. And that's basically it. You do not need to watch any other green screen tutorials of how to set up a green screen. It's easy. Green cloth, set up green cloth, make sure the light is good, and stand back from the green screen so you don't have this reflection here. Look, gun turned green. By the way, that's a fake gun. It's an airsoft gun, so don't freak out. So, how do we use green screen in iMovie? It's, it can be tricky, but you know, iMovie made it pretty user friendly. So, first step, let's uh, let's delete all this footage here. Let's uh, let's have a background. You want to add your background first. If you remember from my multiple picture and picture in iMovie tutorial, which uh, actually I think was the previous tutorial, we add the backgrounds first. We always work from the background to the foreground. So I'm going to add this uh, little texture here put that in just drag and drop your picture and there we go 
Now it automatically once again came with the Ken Burns effect. Well, by now, you should know how to get rid of it. Click on the little gear, cropping and rotation. I'm just going to hit fit. I'm lazy today. Done. And there we go. We have our background. Always add the background first. Now, we need to make sure we have access to green screen special effects. So go to iMovie, click on Preferences. Click on the General tab. Show Advanced Tools box. Check. Right there. So I'm going to change the duration to uh, excessively long. So we have plenty of room to work with. There we go. I'm going to add uh, the green screen element. My matrix bullet dancing dodging stuff. Now, uh iMovie didn't do too good a job at this, but the program Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express, they did a pretty good job working with it. Now, I would use that, but this is a iMovie tutorial, so we're going to keep it all in iMovie. The way, to, the way to put this now is we have Advanced Tools box checked. We have selected our segment, drag it, and drop it right where the red line is is where the footage is going to begin. Now here, oh, green screen right there. If you have iMovie 11, you will have access to blue screen. iMovie 09ers, sorry. Okay, so there you go. So now we have uh so now we have our really freaky footage. Didn't turn out so good. But uh Yeah, as you can see, that's the problem when you use a poor green screen. Hopefully uh, we can salvage this. One way to salvage it is to double click on it, click on video. And you can change these around so maybe it's a little more green and and whatnot. So you can hopefully bring back some color. And there we go. So, you know, this is good enough for tutorial for now, I suppose. But here's the thing uh, that's going to be an issue. We don't want this blue stuff here. We don't want our lights showing. No. We just want the background. So all you do is you single click on the green box. Click cropped. And move these around. Oh, look. The environment's changing. You just move these around and get the border the way you want. Then click done. And as you can see, we have cropped out our scenery. So this is before and this is after. There you go. So that's cropping there. Uh, one other thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you are stuck with the camera you bought or were given for birthday slash Christmas. If you are able to, one other tip that helps with green screen is if you can film at a high frames per second, that'll that can most definitely help. Um, as you can see, I am moving around very very fast, so a high frames per second will prevent some of that green blur that can that can happen there. As you can see, now we have two layers in iMovie. Uh, we have our background layer. You add the background layer first, and we have our green layer. You add that second. So if you wanted to add another special effect, you are unfortunately unable to. But don't worry, my uh, one of my previous tutorials talks about how to do multiple pictures and pictures. So a quick summary, you pretty much would export this and then re-import it and add in a new special effect. Uh, don't forget to work from the background to the foreground. Just you know, click on the, just click on the annotations or links in description, and uh, you'll be able to see the previous tutorial on how to go into more details about that. So here we have uh, pretty much completed the basics. You add your background layer, add your green screen element. Um, what we'll be going into next time is, as you can see, my awesome suit is all ghosty and shady and whatnot. So we will go over on how to fix that uh, next time.
Remember, if you were using a good green screen, something more like this, this issue isn't as severe. But uh, let's see if we can rescue uh, some very old footage. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.